If you are curious about my Hermes Kelly chain choker or considering getting it, I'm going to share an in-depth review of my choker. And also I'll talk about all the details, including price, everything that you need to know. Do I really think it's worth it? Don't forget to like my video and subscribe to my channel so that you won't miss any future uploads like this. My Kelly Ching Choker is in the small model and in the rose gold set with diamonds with adjustable snap closure. Not only it can be worn as a choker, but it can also wrap around it to wear it as a bracelet, which I will show you all three different ways how you can wear it in a bit. There are 41 diamonds in the middle pave section and the, the total carat weight is about 0.62 carat. This middle section of the Kelly Ten Lock cannot be turned it's just for the look basically how you can close this necklace or bracelet is you have a hook and a loop on the other end and you just clip it on. So my Kelly Chin Choker is in the small model. The total length from left to right is 36.8 centimeter. When I purchased this piece, it did come with the Hermes box. This is how you slide the box down. And when you open it, it said Hermes here. And this is the display part, which is a really, really nice box compared to other Hermes fine jewelry. I know it has a different version of like a small box for you to wrap around it, but I think I prefer this packaging. It's nicer. And then it comes with the Hermes fine jewelry certificate and it tells you purchase date and also the store stamp. Besides that, I did get a Hermes uh, fine jewelry cleaning cloth. This is what I use to clean this uh, jewelry piece. Also this Hermes travel pouch that I got store jewelry when I'm traveling. I bought other Hermes fine jewelry before, but this is the first time I got the travel pouch and uh, the cleaning cloth as well. I have had this choker for about a little over six months. I've been wearing this choker so often, so frequent, and this is like the most worn piece in my entire collection right now. You know, so some of you comment on my video saying, oh, the choker looks so tight on you. I think at the beginning, I didn't figure out the right way to put it on. Basically, I just hook onto the random place every single time when I put it on, but now I feel like I wear it enough. The right way to put it on in the right position for yourself is actually count from this end where it has the loop, one, two, three, four, five, and wherever the link is right for you, and then you have this link ready, and then you just hook onto the necklace. This way, that you can make sure this choker won't be too tight and always sit in the right position on your neck and you also feel comfortable with. I'd say if you put the choker in the right position on your neck, not too tight, it's actually really comfortable. And I wore it to my Asia trip, to Japan, to Shanghai. Everyone's neck size is different and you really need to count the right amount of lengths then figure out the right length for yourself, where you are comfortable with. So the choker does have some weight from the Pave diamonds. The links feel pretty lightweight. It's definitely okay for you to wear from day to night. Some of you also ask that if this section will fall downward. So if you do put it like really loose, then the Pave section will face downward like this. I'll show you when I wear it as a loose necklace and then you will see how it looks on me. This is how it looks when I wear it as a choker and I feel it's pretty comfortable. It's with the right length. The second way you can wear it, of course, a lot of you asked me to show you how it wears as a necklace. So I'm gonna hook to the end of the necklace to show you the max length, how it looks on me. This is how it looks as a necklace. Of course, you could wear it as a necklace, but then it's pretty loose and pretty long and uh, the pave section will just fall downward. If you like this look, don't mind it. 
then it's totally fine. I do feel that these links looks pretty nice. So even if fall downs a little bit, you can still get by to wear it as a necklace. So the third way, of course, is you can wear this as a bracelet. So the only thing is that because my wrist is so small, I have to wrap this multiple times. It has a lot of extra links. Among all these three ways, you probably can already tell like my favorite way is still the choker because I think it's still the most pretty to wear as a choker. Besides this uh, rose gold, it's also available in the yellow gold. I actually have seen the yellow gold version before I saw the rose gold version in person. The reason I turned down the yellow gold is because the yellow gold on this choker just looks like really really yellow. It's like right in front of your face versus like the rose gold just looks so subtle, so soft and feminine, which I prefer much more. The shade of the rose gold just feels so perfect to me. And that's just my personal preference, but if you love yellow gold, definitely go for what you love. So besides this pavade choker version, there's also the same choker in six diamonds version. The six diamond version is about 0.04 carat and the diamond are tiny in the middle section. I personally think that the pave choker definitely looks way nicer than the six diamonds version. If budget allows, definitely go for the diamond one instead of the six diamond version. Apparently this is a very popular piece and it's actually not that easy to get. And I have waited for mine for a very long time. So if you know you want it for sure, definitely let your essay know earlier so you can get on the wait list. I did also hear from my essay when I got it that Hermes knows that this piece is so popular these days. So they are trying to make more of this piece to meet all the orders. That might be not as difficult as before to get this piece this year if you are interested. So the choker is currently retail for $13,000. And after tax, the total is $14,120. $1.25. Of course, a lot of you are aware that Hermes fine jewelry doesn't have really good resale value, which is true. And this piece is resale value, not going to be able to compare to VCA or Cartier. And if you resell it, you're definitely going to lose money. But relatively speaking, this piece still has a slightly better resale value compared to other pieces. After all, it's in the classic Kelly style and also it's a stunning piece on its own, regardless of the brand. After wearing this piece for a bit over half a year and I wore it so often, I noticed I definitely have some scratches on the side of the middle section from stacking it with other bracelets when I wear it as a bracelet. Any scratches on the chain itself is not that visible since it's just a regular rose gold piece with small surface area. I clean it with the Hermes jewelry cloth from time to time. Other than that, I think the wear looks fine and I still think it looks a really stunning piece. The first pro is of course this choker is just such a stunning statement piece from Hermes and it's just so beautiful on its own. Words really can justify its beauty. This is also a versatile piece that you can dress it up and dress down and you know you can dress really up nicely for special occasions and you can even wear it with a simple tee or jeans, it makes your simple outfit stand out so much. Another pro is that because you wear it so often, then the cost per wear goes down too. The other pro is that you have three ways you can wear it. Necklace, choker, and a bracelet. It's like you bought multiple jewelry pieces but only paid one piece's price. So the other Pro is that it's such a beautiful like layering pieces. I wear it with other necklaces. It looks really nice. If I wear it as a bracelet, it also 
easily stack with other pieces look really nice together. The middle section of the pave diamonds has exact the same amount of diamonds look weight everything as the Kelly chain bracelet. It's only a little bit more expensive than the Kelly chain bracelet. So if I have to choose between the bracelet version and the, this choker version, I'll definitely go for the choker because I have so many more room to play with it instead of just having a bracelet. So I think this one is a better purchase and a better value compared to the bracelet. The other thing is that for such a big ticket purchase like this, it should definitely help you to get a quota bag. I mean, I haven't got any quota bags yet, but I'm sure that it will help my profile. Make sure you subscribe and turn on the bell button so that you won't miss any future quota bag unboxing video. The other pro is that after shopping in Hermes for such a long time, if you ask me to get many, many small items versus getting one big ticket item, my preference is getting one big ticket item so that I don't have to have so many small purchases and the boxes pile up just trying to figure out to buy something. The first con is very obvious is it's a really expensive piece and if I get anything from the jewelry with the same amount of price, I definitely get more gold or diamond out of the jeweler versus getting this piece from Hermes. The other con is that if you do decide to sell this piece in the future, if you're no longer in love with it, you definitely will have to lose a lot of money on this piece. The other thing is, as I mentioned in the wear section, I have small like uh, scratches on the side of the pave section in the middle from wearing it as a bracelet. I don't mind it, but I do want to mention this con to you. The other con that I want to mention is that if you don't figure out the right position for yourself to wear, it could get really tight or if it's too loose, then the pave section will facing downward, which is not such a pretty look. It would not be a con if you figure out the right length to wear. The other con is that if you have a small wrist like me, you do wear this piece as a bracelet. After you wrap it around it multiple times, you will have extra dangling pieces dangle on the side. This is something that you need to know. The other thing is that this hook is not that easy to put it on for yourself. I still can put it on as a bracelet. It's just that it will take a little bit longer if I put it on by myself. So after owning it for more than six months, I can tell you that I love this choker from the bottom of my heart so much. And I think it's one of my best purchases. To me, the pros are way more than the cons. And I really love the fact that it's so versatile that I can wear it as a choker, a necklace, and also a bracelet too. Most importantly is the style, the look. It's just such a cool fine jewelry piece. Even with such high price, high margin, I can totally see myself enjoy and the love for a very long time. So I really think this piece is worthwhile. Don't forget to like my video and subscribe to my channel and I'll see you soon. Bye bye!